beautiful November Saturday in Columbus as we welcome you to the BCS Spotlight Game presented by ADT. Two other teams will head to Florida for the Big Ten. They'll go to Orlando. They'll go to Tampa. Both Northwestern and Michigan State must win out. And we are underway here in Columbus, Ohio. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. It's, he was a teammate of Ginn's, played for Ted Ginn's father in high school in Cleveland. Here's our FedEx lineups. The ones we highlight are the seniors. This is their final matchup against Michigan, Maurice Hall and Brandon Joe. And the offensive line, only Mike Knee is playing in his final game here in the horseshoe. The others will all be back. They motion him out to the short side of the field. Hall is the corner matching up. They run in that direction. Out of bounds, but at the 28-yard line against this defense. And all three coming back for the Wolverines next year. Remember the base is the 3-4. They'll switch out of it. Roy Manny will not be back next season for the Wolverines. And that secondary, Marlon Jackson, the great Marlon Jackson, is gone. Ernest Shazer. Watson, they're watching him as they swing Joe wide and Shazer, 25. And Troy Smith. Under center. And a loss. He can run or get out for a pass. Gonzalez comes in motion through the formation. And Smith, off a play fake, can't find a receiver open, takes it on the move and throws it out of bounds. Ginn is now over there in a short slot with Gonzalez outside of him. From the shotgun, Smith in the protected pocket. Could not find a receiver. Now goes downfield. Gonzalez got it. Touchdown. Buckeye strike. Anthony Gonzalez coming off his first start a week ago. 68 yards. And the offensive line did a superb job of giving Smith just enough time to get the ball off. Records here. Tax on another point. Take one more look here. And Smith with pressure closing in. Releases high. The underdog strikes first in Columbus. He is the dangerous one as far as the Wolverines are concerned. Right at the goal line. It'll be Breston. And he is down shy of the 15-yard line. Mike Hart is the running back behind Henny. And Henny to throw on first down. Puts it in Braylon Edwards' hands. And he is shy. Freshman quarterback to win an Ohio State-Michigan game. He's had a sensational season. As we check the FedEx lineup, Kevin Dudley and Braylon Edwards are the seniors among the skill players. As far as the offensive line is concerned, center David Moss, who is the anchor of that group. He's in his last Ohio State game. Michigan's confused. Here's Hart right straight ahead, plowing. You know his story, never stops driving those legs up toward that first down marker against this defense. Simon Frazier in his last game against the Wolverines. The linebackers, A.J. Hawk just making his first stop of the game, and he'll be back next year. All three return. It's an outstanding trio. Only Dustin Fox, who is playing today, he suffered some injuries this year. Masakoy is flexed off the line from that tight end spot. They'll throw out flight the screen. They put it in Preston's hands for the first time. And he goes for nine yards. Jermaine Gonzalez checks in. There's a wide out for the Wolverines. Dudley, the fullback, play fake. Henny, quick to set. Throws high down the middle. Braylon Edwards broke off his route on that one. On third and one, and the penalty flag. Prior to the snap, false start offense, number 89. Five yard penalty, still third down. But six yards needed here. Quick set, complete to Braylon Edwards, and Edwards crosses the 40 yard line, picks up the first down. They motion out of the backfield. 
And Henny throws the screen pass, and Hart's got it on the near side. Still free before he is finally pushed out of bounds. Offense out. Wolverines are in the red zone. And he fires complete. And Edwards is to the five-yard line. But this right at the moment is their most important trip to the red zone. And Hart driving to the four-yard line. Hart is offset to the right. Massacre, the tight end, flexed there. Kinney with a roll right, fires in zone, touchdown Avant. Wow. And the Wolverines are an extra point away from tying this football game. And we are just in the opening minutes. So Avant from Chicago. Work. Could have got it, but didn't get it in time. And Garrett Revis has tied the game. Still 10.25 to go. Lloyd Carr and the Wolverines bounce right back to kick it off. Take a knee, Santonio says, and it'll come out on the 20, and Brandon Joe, the fullback, is in, along with Ginn, with that new look in the backfield. And they run the option with Smith keeping it all the way. Smith is lined up back in the gun. And they counter off that shotgun and read perfectly by Troy Smith, the quarterback, three down linemen for the Wolverines. They rush four from the pocket, fires complete, but well short of the first down. Can't operate with good field position. Not a good punt. In fact, it's less than half a field. Downed at the 41-yard line. Braylon is split far out to the right. Now he comes in motion to be a slot guy. And they'll slip it into Preston's hands. And here's Hart lined up behind Henny. Big hole. And he gashed that Buckeye defense for a first down. Preston's at the bottom of your screen. Henny under pressure through behind the running back Hart. Who Having it taped up, he comes. A little bit of motion, bringing Fox in a little bit tighter. And now Fox drops off. And Henny looks right all the way. Goes to Gonzalez. Inside the 15-yard line. Number seven of Michigan. Doesn't look like a freshman. Has it all season long. Here's Hart. Another one of the freshmen. Drives it to the one-yard line. Will. They use Dudley in this situation. Massacoy over to the right. It'll be Hart behind Dudley, and he makes it to the end zone. Wolverines with their first lead. Well, that Michael Hart is an amazing football player. He reads things instantly. Adam Finley puts it down, and it's a seven-point Michigan lead. Six minutes remaining in the opening quarter, and the Wolverines have scored in their first two possessions. There's the scoring drive. Coming out. Maurice looking for an alley. Just shy of the 25-yard line. They put Smith up under center. They'll see if they can get some power football. Look at this. Brandon Joe directly behind Smith. He'll get the call. takes off surrounded and they do account for him he's down at the 25 yard line so he'll try it again and Preston fair catch signal at the 33 yard line Edwards in motion and he will use part on first down to the and he's hit Incomplete, and he was drilled. But third down, Massacoy. The H back look is off to the right. Henny, no pressure. Sideline incomplete. Hawkhead coverage over there is going to be used here today as one of the gunners for the Wolverines. And they don't put him in. Instead, they come down the field different. They use their safety. 
Shazer was one of the gunners, and this punt is going to be down inside the five-yard line. Daylight to the eight-yard line. Second down and four for the Bucks. First down, and it is the big back look. Joe stays in in that eye back spot. And this was Joe again, right in the formation. And now, on the move, throws complete. A first and ten for number seven now. That's his first catch, and it's for 17 yards. They run. The quarterback trying to get the corner. And he made the most of it. Running it right straight ahead with Lydell Ross, who's out of the doghouse, as we come to the end of the first quarter. Ohio State striking first, a 68-yard touchdown. But Michigan quickly responding, Avon. And we'll be back with the second quarter after this message and a word from our ABC station. As the Buckeyes have decided to come with a big back attack against this Michigan front. Smith got one on one. Caught by Holmes. First down at the 25 yard line. A beautiful one on one throw. First down and 10. Smith is in the gun again. There's that quarterback inside shot. Incomplete pass. That's an incomplete pass at 31 yards in this game. Here's Smith getting time. Pump fake. Now he'll take off. 20. 15 steps out of bounds at the 11 yard line. Big running back empties that backfield. The offensive line against this front has been holding up. Quarterback draw all the way. And Smith picks his way with a second down. So here come the Bulls. Still moving the pile. Close to the one yard line. Smith steps into the end zone, dives in. They're waiting for the signal. There it is. 99 yards, the length of this drive. Nugent won a big soccer game for Ohio State last night. And so Nugent's extra point has tied the game as Smith over the top for six. It's 14 all. With that breeze at his back, the older brother, both of whom also were athletes, Avan in motion, and the Wolverines and the Buckeyes are deadlocked. And Henny on the money, and A.J. Hawk. I've got to tell you, I've always been impressed with Hawk. Second down. His heart into the middle of, well, Oklahoma with a uh, big game. Sooners have just scored, we are told, from New York. So, John, thanks for that. And uh, they figured to make it 21. Now, the fumble the snap. Dove back in on it. He and Boss mishandle it. Don't worry about distance. Try to give us some hang time so we can get down the field with coverage. And there they force in to make a fair catch. So we've already had over 300 yards combined between these two teams. And Smith, who's been doing very well, takes off now for the Buckeyes and has another first down. So Troy Smith, Ross has checked in as the running back. Lydell Ross, number 30. And uh, crowd of the snap, false start, 80 offense, five yard penalty, still first down. Troy Smith. Back in that shotgun, Adele Ross is right alongside of him. There's the fake to Ross. And he throws, cut down low by the speedster. On a cut, looking daylight. And he is brought down. It's split out to the right. He'll someday be a two-way player here. He's an outstanding defensive back prospect. Smith with a great play fake. And another first and goal coming up is Ryan Hamby. Now it is first and goal. Joe is back into the backfield for the Buckeyes. 
Here's Joe, short of the end zone. Unbalanced line to the right. In the fullback, they hand it off. Now they offset Johnson, and the Wolverines adjust. Van Alstein moves over here, looking to pass, does, but short of the end zone, and that's because Ernest Shazer. And now it is fourth down and goal. Score is tied. Schnitger and Joe Schnitger comes out of the backfield. Smith rolls to the right. Incomplete Marlon Jackson all over Holmes that time. He ate him up on the goal line. Now Michigan. Can they match Ohio State and go 99 yards? The Buckeyes did earlier in this game. Certainly not that time. They jumped Mike Hart. Here's a handoff to Hart Ooh, for another yard for Henny and the Wolverines. Edwards comes in motion. This is third down. Henny from his own end zone fires incomplete. So again, looking for a return. They give him time from the 45 left alley. And he'll just step out of bounds. Here comes Joe. He's down. He's to the 30-yard line. Smith. He's back of the shotgun with Joe and Ginn off to the right. Firing to Ginn again. And he is to the 25. Now third down. Here is Smith. And they want to wave it off. I guarantee you, none of them wanted to call it incomplete. And that clearly is a catch. Can't find the receiver open, so Smith will take off. Looking in zone, stumbles, and he's down short of it. So leaving Michigan down there was not the worst thing. And the running back just cannot. Fumble, and Smith dives back on it. Reed is looking in on him. Smith going to take off. It is now fourth down. There's the top field goal specialist in college football. In uh -oh. the game earlier, he pulled this one badly, but he made it. Wow. It was from the right hash. And he slipped it through. This is a young man who has a terrific future with the NFL because he takes his kickoffs with or without wind deep into the end zone. Buckeyes lead it again. Man, There's kick that kickoff. Completely out of the end zone. Well, to coach the Gators, Steve Spurrier seems headed now for South Carolina. Lou Holtz with his last game today in the regular season. This is Braylon Edwards for Michigan, short of the 30-yard line. Dangerous wideouts and a running back who can pick up a first down, like Hart does right there. Ohio State is staying in a soft zone. And he throws it up and deep. Braylon jump ball juggled incomplete. Uh, Ron Artest now with plenty of time on his hands to promote that rap album. Incomplete. Here's Henny. Sets the screen high with the pass to Hart and incomplete. Under pressure gets it off. And here is Ginn from the 22-yard line. Swings to the outside and has his legs taken out from underneath him. 70 yards away with 111 remaining. They have their timeouts. They set the screen and it is Lydell Ross. Here's Smith. He'll take off. He'll run for the first down. Midfield. Spins to the 45 yard line. Here's Smith, deflected, incomplete. Low snap, flag on the play. Delay a game, offense, charge to number 10 on the Ohio State. Put me out there right now, Jack, I can kick it from here. He did do a 60-yarder in practice in preseason. <laughs> he was warming up with 60 yards with the wind at his back, too, and uh, Smith don't need Knows he needs to give him a few yards. That one incomplete for Ginn. And Ginn motions through it. 
Smith on the move, fires high, got it in, out of bounds, across the 25. That could be a three-point play. They can take a shot. They can do a lot of things in this situation. And from the gun, Smith fires high and incomplete. The one thing they do, you do not want to turn it over. Second down. No snap again. Smith. Oh, that's going to be a touch of grounding. He threw it away. No receiver he over there. He must have got outside the box. Here with time running down. A third and 15 sets up this 42-yard attempt from the right hash by Newton. And for him, it's a chip shot. What a luxury in a game like this. And the Buckeyes and the Wolverines cross at midfield. And Ohio State leads it. But they're going to have to handle number seven again. Will Braylon have an answer? We will find out. Meanwhile, John and the gang will get you up to date. For Michigan, thinking you can come from behind. You wonder, they've done it all year, can they do it again? Exactly, Gary, as uh, Nugent drives it into the wind, about three yards deep, and the Wolverines will come out, and they'll put it in play at around the 20-yard uh, line, and drove it for a touchdown. The Buckeyes off the blitz, Hart steps to the hole, still can't find much doing. Frazier helped blow up the play on second down. Hart, the offset tailback. Quick and complete to Preston, but it's still short of a first down. And he on the blitz, going down at the 15-yard line. Dante Whitner, the field position as Finley tries to hang it up in the air. Here is Ginn, driven back inside the 35. Twists free, keeps his balance, cuts the daylight. One man to beat, and he's down at the 46. Switches over to the right. Gonzalez comes through the formation for the Buckeyes. Here is Ginn. They set a screen to the right. He's going to come clear across the field. <laughs> Steps out at, at midfield. <laughs> Second down and 13. Joe alongside Smith. Hit on the release. Incomplete. Bump and run on this third and long. Again comes in a short slot. Incomplete as he had cut back. Waiting this punt for the Wolverines. Fair catch. At the 17-yard line. That's the longest they've driven since the first two. Run formation. Stretch with Hart. Tries to cut back the other way. Schlegel cleans it up. Four down linemen for the Buckeyes. A base 4-3 look. Play fake Henny. How many times did you throw that? Complete. Henny. Here's Braylon Edwards. And he's short of the 30-yard line. But young man who has matured so much in the Lloyd Carr program. And again, the offensive line. But it finally gives ground. And Henny has to throw it away for a moment. Brandon, it's ridiculous this weekend. Oh, John, it's no excuse. That's unbelievable. Here's Henny now. Firing incomplete. Edwards, the intended target. 12, 14 yards deep. Third down and 10. Henny fires the screen to Edwards. Edwards will not have a first down. The Buckeyes blow it up in the middle. Drive has ended with a punt. In. He thought Holmes was going to step over. Then he makes the catch on it. Again, swings free. Look out now. Can Finley get an angle? Down the sideline. Forget about it. This baby's over, this race. That's 82 yards on the return. And as we said at the top of this broadcast, he could be the most dangerous freshman On the extra point. So Teddy again, his seventh touchdown of the season and his fourth punt return for a score. 82 yards as Ted Ginn Jr. has put Michigan's Rose Bowl hopes in jeopardy.
the house with another punt return. But his quarterback, who he trained, Troy Smith, is doing a remarkable job. Now the Wolverines need Bruston and the rest of this team to come alive. Penny and the Wolverines. Massacoy is off to his right. Penny on a hard roll right puts it in Avon's hands. The two wideouts for the Wolverines right now. And they'll run hard behind Dudley, and he is tackled from behind by Bobby Carpenter. Play fake by Henny. Buys good time, and is. it's Edwards on it, and he is out of bounds. He's the motion man. Here's Hart behind the right side of the offensive line, and he battles his way. Here comes the blitz. Henny. Hit on the release. Almost intercepted. Under pressure again. Incomplete. San Antonio. Braylon not coming down the field this time, and it is down oh, inside the five yard line. It Making a charge on that uh, honor himself down at Oklahoma. The big back, Joe Pounds to the 15. Maurice Hall, the running back, gets the call this time and nothing doing. Second down, Troy Smith back in the shotgun. Positions again out to the right. He'll run in that direction, run to daylight, cut back. And he is down at the 23 yard line. For Coach Turman of the Wolverines. Quarterback draw all the way. Got it. With Ohio State. And this is Pittman, the freshman who is tripped up. 27 14. Buckeyes with the lead. Pittman, the freshman, is jammed up. Pittman off to the right. So is Ginn. And whistle. Buckeye offense. Delay game. Offense. Number 10. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Third down. And after the penalty, they now need seven yards for the first down. Smith in trouble. Spins away from it. 40, 45, 50. 35. Troy Smith. Emerging as the Buckeye leader. Puts Smith over 100 yards rushing at 140 yards. Lydell Ross behind Schnitker. Shazer comes up. They have lined Ginn up as the eye back. And Ross is the fullback. And they run Ross from the fullback spot to the 11-yard line. And here's third down and four. Smith fires. Touchdown, Holmes. What a beautiful delivery by Troy Smith, who was going to throw, pumped it, and then caught a cut by Santonio and hit him for the touchdown. It's good. Mike Nugent adds the extra point. For Wisconsin, if they can hang on, there's a long way to go. Mason coming out. 15. And he is down at the 16. Fired up Buckeye defense has met here today as the freshman is now under severe pressure. And Hart short of the 20 yard line. Nate Sally. So it should be wide open now for the Wolverines and their bid to come back. Preston to the 23-yard line. The quarterback in motion. Struck snap to Preston, who's going to run it out of the shotgun. And look who tracked him down. Number 47. Here's the handoff to Hart. Struggles to the 39, and we've come to the end of the third quarter. Michigan's Rose Bowl hopes could be up in the air.
We'll find out after this message and a word from our ABC station. Now a second down and eight to start our fourth quarter. They trail it by three touchdowns. And he's going long once. Edwards got it. And it's a first down for the Wolverines. Two fouls on the play. Pass interference defense. That penalty is declined. Michigan takes the result of the play. First down. Following the play. Dead ball. Late hit. Number nine on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Three wides to Henny's right. Intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ubote. Ubote to the 20 yard line. As Chad Henney makes a freshman mistake. On the return, we have an illegal block below the waist. Number 42. Half the distance. And the Buckeyes and Troy Smith will try to eat up some time. A three touchdown advantage right now. And they'll come with the big backs that Pittman, the freshman, in at running back. Swings over to the left. Pierre Woods helped break up the play over there. He picks up Woodley this time, but Woodley gets past him at the end as Smith stepped up in the pocket. Iowa and the Badgers, if the Buckeyes win this game, the Badgers will be playing for a spot in the Rose Bowl if they can win. Here is Preston making the fair catch against Michigan. And the Wolverines eyeing a spot of the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And now Henny and the Wolverines in deep trouble. Ecker. The game, I think we can hold up against these guys, but I'm not sure. And so far, they indeed have held up. Henny, incomplete. And there's the penalty flag. Space, and Schlegel isn't as comfortable. Here's Hart. And he's down at the 49. State controls their own destiny. Deep Missouri, and they'll face Oklahoma. Yeah. All right, Avant to the right. Deep drop by Henny. Has time. Has a man open. It's Braylon Edwards. Got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. What a throw. Wow. So Chad Henny quiets the crowd as he and Braylon Edwards downs. And today he comes back with 10 more. Revis. And just like that, it is a two-touchdown game as Braylon stays right with it. Little adjustment on the site. Over to the left. In the basket. I'm out. Downs now with 11 minutes. Neenberg to kick it off for the Wolverines. Going to be fielded and bobbled right there at the one-yard line by Hall, who picks it back up. And he is brought down at the 15. The year, that's a new NCAA record. They beat these Buckeyes in overtime. That was their first one. Can't believe they're in the I formation right now. I don't think they can move the ball in the I formation and they jump offside. So they jump. You're right. Start. Except for remember the offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Pittman is the running back. Troy Smith taking off. Big game. Quarterback draw. Woods in a foot race, coming from behind, number 99. Booms it, drives Bruston way back. Bounces at the 21 on the first hop. Can't slip the first gunner. Needing two touchdowns here in the final 7.51. Fires high and hot defending, incomplete. Henny. Incomplete. Henny straight back. He's got Nasa Coy, but he might be a little bit short of it. He is. They move to an odd front against it. And he's going to throw. Braylon Edwards dropped it. Buckeye football inside the 30-yard line. Penalty flag. 
Comes flying, and it was Ted Ginn Jr. who broke the huddle late. We didn't get into the play yet. Illegal substitution. 12 men in the huddle, too long. Five yard penalty. Still first down. And an outstanding job of officiating by this crew here today. The handoff is Brandon Joe pounds in, and Woodley, the Saginaw linebacker, too tight in formation for Trestle. A clock eating formation. Pittman to the 30 yard line. And now it appears as though they might have to await the outcome of the Wisconsin game. It'll be Smith from the pocket, incomplete. 48 yards for him. Holds 18 records. It'll be put down at the 38 yard line. It's good. Beautiful. Or as they might say in Dublin, brilliant. Jim Trussell and the Ohio State Buckeyes are weaving an upset here against Michigan. What a luxury. With 7.15 to go. And it'll come out of the 20-yard line. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. And Henny with his wide receiving weapons out. Facing Hawk trying to get there. He's picked up incomplete. We have dead ball offsetting personal fouls. 67 on the offense. 94 on the defense. Those penalties offset. Clock 7-11. Complete using the tight end, and Henny and the Wolverines are only three of 11 on third downs today. And now make it four of 12. And downs, excuse me, no timeouts left for Michigan. Michigan linemen getting their spacing, throwing complete to Preston. And he coming down towards six minutes. And he rifles one complete. That's a first down across midfield. So. And he going high and deep to Braylon Edwards. Edwards in the air. Jump ball incomplete. And he fires and hits a crossing Jermaine Gonzalez that time. On third down, Hart steps over, slashes. Got it to the 35. They move the chains. Preston's a slot man. And he... Braylon couldn't get up quite high enough on that one. Did it? Screen dropped by Hart. Third down coming up. Maybe. And that is well short of the first down. Here's your fourth down. Wolverines have to stick it inside the 25. And he in trouble. Incomplete. Ohio State football. 52 yards. Checks in. Gets the call. Goes into the middle. They cannot. Anything but a turnover right now. Ohio State thinks they win this football. There it is. Turnover. Excuse me. A penalty on that situation. You can't flinch. Ball start. 88 offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. They'll wind up with a... Perhaps in Orlando uh, or Tampa. Michigan will certainly uh, wind up in Florida. Third down. And again, the uh, height. The punt will go out of bounds with 124. Trestle and his coaching staff have done a superb job of improving this football team as the season progressed. And he caught by Massacoy, and of course, it's incomplete. Mike Hart, of course, the running back. He'll be joined by Grady, supposed to be an outstanding recruit coming in. The pass is complete to Ecker, and the Buckeyes keep him inbounds. Dust. And uh, so the students will be uh, sliding off, and the celebration is about to begin here in, uh, in Columbus. So he has certainly become the Buckeyes Defense, quarterback of the future nine. ahead of Justin Zwick. Previous spot. 
Automatic, first down. With the Buckeyes, where will they go for a bowl? Well, perhaps San Antonio. And the um, Alamo Bowl. The, uh, now they shake away some of the doom and gloom here with a, with a big upset over arch rival Michigan. They deny Michigan an automatic trip to the Rose Bowl. And they pound away with those linebackers. You can't say enough about Bobby Carpenter. Final 35 seconds. Third down and 10 for Henny and the Wolverines. Far side, deep ball, incomplete, and it is fourth down. They have come and been ready to play. Here's Henny. Intercepted. Picked off by Nate Sally. Hey, as Nate Sally comes up with that interception and the well, flags come flying. Gary. Yeah, they got 12 men on the field. Institution. 12 men on the field offense. Five yard penalty. First stop. And that's what happened. There's your victory formation. And the celebration can begin. The Ohio State Buckeyes upset the Michigan Wolverines 37 21. The scene from above here as you look down on it. A beloved football team. There is Ted Ginn Jr. with that spectacular punt return for a touchdown. I actually believe I saw Ted Ginn Sr. down there hugging Troy Smith down on the field.